Hello everybody, this is JDV and in this video we're going to talk about the rising gas prices. I don't know if anyone's aware of this, but today is March 8th, 2022 and recently there's been a, a rise in gas prices. As you can see here, there's plenty of news stories about it but why it's happening, how high it can go Everybody's kind of freaking out about it, but there's always, always solutions for these problems. Now, <clears throat> anyone can do this. If you don't have money, you can still do this. You just have to browse and research. What do you want to do? There's many alternatives. You just got to figure it out what's good for you. So, there's so many ways of different transportation. The basic one is the car. Another one could be in a scooter, moped. Another one can be an e-bike or regular bicycle. That's four of them right there. But I'm gonna to talk to you on how or what how to do it, whichever way you choose. Now let's go for the, for the first example. Let's go with bicycles. Now bicycles are pretty cheap. You can find them at Walmart. Fry, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. The value can go to around fifty bucks to three hundred bucks. Sometimes you can find them for free. You gotta browse and research for yourself. It depends on the brand name. It's one basic bicycle around like fifty to hundred, around there. And usually they're pre built, already already made, ready to go. And you find those at Walmart any store. Now with bicycles they are a bit dangerous. I mean, depends where you're at. Now if you're in the city it's good. It's perfect for you. And maybe the country depends how far away you are from town. But if you're pretty far I suggest other solutions. It may be in this video. You can ride a bus. You can walk. You can use Uber, Uber, but that costs a lot of money. So some places don't have that. So for now, a bicycle is a good way to go. And for your bicycle, if you want to make it an, an e-bike or an electric bicycle, you can buy an e-bike conversion on eBay. Now there's many solutions for this too. Depends what you want. You can buy one like this, already made, but that's a more expensive one. Or you can buy for one for the, for the wheel. It's already built in, and you just need to put it together, and it's ready to go. And the battery, and <clears throat> should be ready to go. And if you don't know how to do it, there's plenty of YouTube videos about it. I follow lots of them for different ways of transportation. But with e-bikes, and e-bike conversion kits, and do the browse and look. With the DVD research, you can find the best way for you. Now, with eBay, it's best to browse and sh uh, buy things from not in China because some of them are poorly made. So, you want some from the United States or any other country besides China, really. That's decent quality. Now, with this, you can spend as much as you want, or you can go to cheap route, it's up to you. But they're not too bad in price. And the parts are easy to find, to maintain, and all of that stuff. Again, let's go on eBay and look. And go on YouTube and look as well and do your research. Now, for an e bike, ones that are already pre made, built, they can break, they're a bit pricey. Some go for a thousand, some of them for two thousand, some of them for five thousand. I don't suggest this unless you can afford it. You can find some maybe cheaper for like a couple hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, anywhere you can find. I mean they're cool looking, sure, but they're a bit pricey at the moment for me. That's the other way. Now this is what I did seven, ten years ago. I bought a scooter, a moped.
because this was my first vehicle. Now these cost around brand new $600 plus shipping so around $800. But that's a brand new one. You can find used ones for like a couple hundred, maybe a hundred, sometimes free if you can find it. And these last a while. Yes, these are made in China. Some of them are made in the USA. You gotta find the right, the right one for your research. And I still have it today. I made a video of mine a long time ago. And it's greater than gas. You get 100 miles per gallon. It's one person or two people. Mostly one person. You want to hire CC for that. Comes with a trunk, lights, tires, bat uh, decent battery, keys. And they're not bad. I mean, they're a good price and a very good economical vehicle for you if you need it. Now for the last way, the last two ways, or the basic ones too, if you already have a vehicle that's great on gas mileage, then that's great. Just make sure you, you work on it, make sure it's up to date with everything. And if you don't have one, I suggest look for the vehicles, fortunately for your vehicle, either in the 1980s, almost in the 1990s. The reason is, most 1980s vehicles depends on state and quality and how good they are if you can find them. You can find them for under a grand. And yes, they're not new, but if you find the one owner, or I call them grandma vehicles because that's what my car is, they last a long time. And the parts are very affordable. I had my car for seven years now. Same vehicle. I found it, and it was a farm vehicle. And it's four cylinder, 1987 Oldsmobile. I have a video on my channel about it. But it it's just, this is one way, these are ways of, to fix the rice and gas problems for your use on what to do. But again, for the vehicles. Now you have the money, you can buy, find one 1990s vehicle for like probably a thousand or more. But since, since with inflation and everything, it's gonna go up a lot. It's gonna do your research and find it. Then, then you can worry about the sensors. The cars in the 90s and 2000s and so on, they have it's all computers. And if you don't want to work on them, great. Then you can figure it out. But if you don't, sensors are not cheap. And if they go out, they're going to be spending an arm and leg for them. If you can find the right price and the right way to find it. So that's that's that way. So this video was the main purpose is to help you find ways with the rising gas prices. Because right now, where I'm at, is around $4.60 almost. It could go more. could go lower. But you don't know. We have no idea. So, if you have any questions in the comments, I might make an updated video. Check the prices maybe each week. Do your research. And have a great day.